Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do a little video on boiling water and a paper origami cup. Now, before I get carried away, let me just show you what I've got here. Um, Brian Green on a recent hike, uh, when I was with Brian, he was telling we were talking about kids and stuff like that, and he was telling me about this book here. It's called Fifty Dangerous Things You Should Let Your Children Do. Um, the one that we're doing today is number thirteen. You can see that's boiling water in a paper cup. My helpers is going to be Emily and Matthew. You want to say hi? Hi. All right. Now, just showing you what we got set up here. This is a little origami paper cup that we made out of uh, some paper out of a magazine. We've got a little grate just out of some hardware cloth that's sitting on top of that just to kind of hold the weight. And that is sitting on top of one of the uh, jet boil stoves. Now, of course, uh, we have a jet boy fuel canister here. Um, we got a little bit of water here. And here in a little bit, I'm going to let my daughter uh, fill the little cup up with some water. And then my son's going to light the stove. And we're going to see if we can get this water to uh, come to a boil. Okay, Emily. <laughs> come on. Okay. Um, not, not, not. Okay, Emily. I want you to pour just a little bit of water in here, only about half full, okay? Pour it slow. A little bit more. Let's see, she's that's pouring good. the water. Okay, that's good. Okay, step back. <laughs> okay, Matthew, just like you did before, you've right. used this stove before on hikes. Okay. I want you to go ahead and light it. Turn, the, one turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it. This one? Turn it. I said we gotta hurry up. Okay, now hit your ignition. All right, so there we go. Hey, it's already starting to bubble. Now you can see the flame there. It does look like it's already starting to bubble. <laughs> bubble, bubble, bubble. bubble. You can bubble, see the water, bubble, bubble, obviously it sat there a little bit too long. That smells good. And it looks like the water has uh, pushed yeah. the sides of the cup out. There and there. Just so you know, this was water out of the tap. Dude, you put your hand near that, it burns. It looks like our little cup is coming apart there. Ooh, whoa. And it looks like uh, water is actually coming out the bottom. Yep, there yep. is. But the water is boiling. I think it's actually coming out of the. Uh... Go ahead and turn that off there. <coughs> looks like water has actually come out of the uh, sides where the cup was folded. So maybe if uh, I would have did a little better job on the folding there. Maybe it would have worked out a little better. And that's pretty cool. So what do y'all think about that? That's pretty cool. Emily, what do you think? Cool. Cool, huh? Matthew, that's what do you think? Good. Uh, so we were talking about this just a while ago. What's the uh, temperature that water has to come to before it reaches a boil? 212. 212. 212, do you know what? Degrees. Degrees what? Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, there you go. All right, I think if we would have actually used a cup or something that would have stayed together just a little bit better, um, I think it would have worked out a little better. My origami folding skills is obviously not uh, up to par. Okay, just a second ago you saw us try to boil some water in a uh, origami paper cup that I made. And uh, while the water came to a boil, it didn't work out just as well as I kind of imagined it. So we're going to try it again. We've got a uh, actually a Dunkin' Donuts cup, and we're going to give it a try in that. So, Emily, if you want to uh, put the cup on top of there, and then pour some water in it. Okay, that's good. Whoa. I don't need to pour a whole lot. Okay. Okay. And then move that, and then Matthew, hang on Matthew, wait and let her move. Okay, we got some matches here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. 
Okay, you got it, got it ready? Yeah. Okay, go for it, light it. Woo! All right. So there we go. All right, now we can see the cup's already, it's actually melting. Actually, okay. it looks like the, uh... That's cool. That looks like lava. Yeah, it looks like lava. Well, yeah. That great material's uh, not very... Yeah. Now, this is doing really good. Remember we talked about how the, uh... Oh. It might actually catch on fire above? It looks like a bruise. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, God. Whoa. Now see, it, you can see the line there. See how it's uh, it's not burning below that black line, but above it it is? Yeah. That's because the water's in contact with it there. And look down into... Whoa! See that? Oh, oh it smells great. Uh, it does kind of stink, doesn't it? It smells good. It smells good. Hey, it looks like a hat. <laughs> a hat. Serious? Yeah. This is very awesome. Whoop. Whoop. You can see the water's fixing Whoop. to start coming to a boil on the inside. Okay, come here and look at it, Emily. See that? The water's actually boiling on the inside. It smells like an old burnt marshmallow. Yeah, it doesn't smell the best, huh? Well, I like the smell, but it looks. Alright. Let's see here. Whoa! Looks like it's actually burned through the bottom of the cup, is what it's done. So you can see the inside of the cup there. See the bottom side of the cup, what and the bottom side is actually. It did. It burned through the bottom of the cup. I'm not sure exactly how or why. Ow. You see the bottom of the cup there. <laughs> That's see it. cool. See it? Whoa, That's cool. But the water did boil. Yeah. So after seeing that, I don't know how well I would actually do something like this <laughs> in the field backpacking, but it was a neat little experiment. At least Brandy can still look like it. Whoa, that burnt too? Yep. Alright. Well, that's it. I'm going to put all this stuff up and uh, call it a night. See y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little video and kind of show you that. Uh, just curious too, if anybody out there has done that, uh, used anything different than maybe a, a cup or anything like that. I know I've heard of people using a paper bag and stuff like that to bring it to a boil um, but if you've had any experience doing that please feel free to share them below and uh, I don't know we'll see just kind of see what everybody thinks about it and until later I appreciate you for watching and y'all want to say bye 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 say bye bye <laughs> don't look too excited there